Hello everyone, welcome to AITechMon.com. This is my new video in my, for my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we integrate Power BI with Salesforce. As all of you know that Salesforce is a CRM solution which can be used to uh, capture the customer's information or our client details or our distributors or our partner's information in Salesforce and it gives a 360 degree view on our customer's data. And whereas Power BI is a data visualization tool which is provided by Microsoft. So like since long I was working on Power BI and uh, recently I got to get a chance to work on a case, case study where we need to visualize the Salesforce data using Power BI. So therefore I decided that I should share this, my learning and my knowledge with you guys. So therefore in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you that how can we connect Power BI with Salesforce? How can we fetch the data from Salesforce? And how can we connect the data set? And how can we visualize the dash, uh, how can we visualize the data within Power BI? So therefore, you will be requiring two things. First of all, you need to have a Power BI desktop, which I'm pretty much sure you have already installed it. And the second thing you require is a Salesforce license. So you need to acquire a Salesforce developer's account or any account depends. So in my case, I'm having a Salesforce developer's account. So let me show you my Salesforce account. That my Salesforce account, I'm using this. And in this Salesforce account, I'm using it. I have got an opportunity data set Basically, it's an opportunity object, I can say. And in this opportunity object, I would be having multiple records. So let me check the records I have here. I just click on all opportunities. And you can see I'm having more than, I think around 600 records will be there. A lot of records are there, it's all, all, already done. So almost 700 records will be there in opportunities and uh, this opportunity basically I would like to visualize the help of a Power BI. Although Salesforce provides an inbuilt functionality for reports, but for rich visualization, for rich uh, data visualization, we would be uh, we will be requiring an additional data visualization uh, data visualization software. It could be Tab View or it could be Power BI. In this video, I'm using Power BI. And I've already got a Power BI license also. That's a Power BI desktop. I'm using Power BI desktop. That's my desktop. So first of all, we need to check whether this Power BI is already connected with any Salesforce license earlier. So just click on File, Options and Settings, Data Source Setting, and just check whether it is already connected with any data source. So right. So it is not connected with any existing data sources right now. So therefore we are going to configure a new data source. In this Power BI, if you want to connect to a Salesforce data, you need to click on get data, click on more, and you can select the Salesforce object from the list open or just type it here, or we have an option for uh, online services, but I'm just looking for Salesforce. And Salesforce comes under online services, the best part with Power BI is that we can visualize the Salesforce reports within Power BI also, which is not possible in any other BI at present. So I'm using Salesforce object. So I select Salesforce object, click on connect. So the very first thing will be happen here is the connectivity. The connection will be established. So I'm just connecting to my Salesforce production. Click on OK. And we would be using this login.salesforce.com. Click on sign in. We need to provide my username. So that's my username and my password. I'm just providing my password. So my password is, that's my password. Click on login. And you can see we have successfully connected to Salesforce with the Power BI, it says you are currently signed in. If you want to sign in as a different user, we can click on this else. We have already connected, we have successfully logged in. So I click on connect. It will send a connection request to Salesforce for connectivity. And once connectivity is done,
you can see we got a list of all the salesforce objects so there are total 218 salesforce objects but we are interested in opportunity so i just search for opportunity opportunity and that's the data we have now before loading data before uh, before loading data i would like to apply transformations on this data because there are there are a lot of columns there are a lot of fields which we are not required which is not required for us so therefore there's an option called transform data so i click on transform data and uh, here we are going to do some uh, we are going to transforming the data so i'm just removing the fields which are not required so so i'll just click on manage uh, we have choose columns so which columns we want to keep so i just uncheck all the columns and i'm interested only in opportunity name stage name amount probability expected revenue flow state and opportunity type lead source and i think that's all so i'm interested in only in these few fiscal year let's say fiscal year also right that's all so I interested only a couple of columns. So I have selected columns which are required and click on OK. And you can see my, da my data set get transformed accordingly. So I, get, I remove the columns which is not required actually, which is not required for me, which I, which I won't require for uh, visualization. And once it is done, I simply click on close and apply. Close and apply. So transformation will be done and click on apply changes. Don't forget to click on apply changes. So it will create a connection in model and with the, uh, the fields will be added to that. 700 records were there. So we can go and check in the data model. So the fields are added. I can just expand it and see, you can see the fields. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 fields are there. If I want to preview the data, I can check the records, the data set where that's the record. In, in order to visualize, I can click on the visualization option. So there are three options for reports, for data, and for data model. So this gives a, this space is used for data model. Now my requirement is to visualize that data. So what I'm doing is I simply create a bar chart first of all. So I just want to create a simple bar chart. And in order to create a bar chart, that's a stacked bar chart. We have stacked column chart. That's a clustered bar chart. So we have different charts as you can see we have different chart forms and i just drag and drop i just click on this bar chart bar chart is free as it's added I just uh, make it bigger let me do one thing i just scroll it down and i want to add a text field so i just drag and drop a text field beforehand and then just move this so let me delete this I just arrange this and uh, I want to add a header so we can add a title title is off and I can type so I just write sales force opportunity select this basically we need to do a customization on this I select Please font, make it center, and uh, I want font color in blue, bold, and I will be using opportunity. Now let's drag and drop and add the chart. So I'm adding total four charts. So very quickly, I'm just adding the. This is the first chart, and in this chart, I just wanted to show the total amount generated by stage wise. So therefore, I select the fields. So I select field as stage by the stage name. I select stage name. It will list all the stage name and amount. And as soon as I select stage and amount, you can see the chart is created. I can visualize this anytime and I can see closed one, closed loss and visualization will be done. And 
we can just do some customizations into this. So this is my first chart. Now, if I want to preview this, we have a focus mode and focus mode will be in the whole full screen. Back to report. So this is my first report. Uh, we can reduce the size as on demand. So the first report is this. Now I want, let's create a second report. In my second report, I want to show the total revenue generated by lead source. So again, I drag and drop. Again, I select uh, visualization. And this time, I'm selecting. Uh, this is what I, uh, because we selected this chart, that's why. So we need to click on the outside, and then we click on donut. So it creates a pie. This is a pie chart, actually. So I select this pie chart, and I want lead source. So these are the various lead sources, and that's the amount generated. So 69 point, uh, this one, 20.59 percent is coming from which opportunity. And if you want to apply a filter, in order to filter on this visual, we have a filter lead source is all, and I can add a filter here, and I can add a filter on this visual only, where the stage name equals to close one. So that's the way I can add a filter on this visual. So this filter will be applicable on this visual. And if you want to apply a filter on all the full reports, so we can apply, we can add a filter on this. So this is the way we quickly create a, we quickly create our second dashboard, second report. Now my third report will be, what would be the uh, probability? Basically, I want to have a, I want to have a report by type. So therefore, this time I select another bar chart. Now let's suppose I would just, I just want to compare the amount and the expected revenue. So I just select the, I just click somewhere here, click on chart, it automatically, it automatically utilizes it. I select the opportunity stage name as a dimension and I select amount and expected revenue as major. So it's a side by side and it's a comparison is going on. And I think this one is more meaningful. So I we can just give you this out. Let's add this. And I need one more chart, one more graph. So for this, I would be using a donor chart or we can go for uh, line chart if, if we just want to compare the revenue and amount so we can for the fiscal based on the fiscal year so right now uh, for fiscal year we have only two fiscal years so for fiscal year we have 2009 and 2010 and i just wanted to show amount so it's showing amount and expected so this is not a meaningful one because we don't have uh, this is only fiscal year we have year type and we have only one year data so therefore, instead of this line chart, let me remove this line chart and use another donut chart. And in this donut chart, I would be showing the stage, uh, basically the lead stage name. Okay, I would be, I just select the stage name and with respective to probability. So that's a probability. Probability by stage. So already it is there. So instead of this, let's go with amount. So this is how we can come. So that's the amount closed. So our uh, our report is ready. We can visualize this report, and we have an option to publish. If you want to switch, uh, if you want to switch it, we have an option for switching the theme by default, and we can switch to high rise, or we can switch to let's say solar one. So we have various options to switching the theme. I just I'll just go with this uh, frontier or I just go with Zoom. So this is more graphical for me. Actually, this is more meaning, uh, this is more uh, interactive for me. So make sure that the, 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 vision, the color theme we are choosing, that color theme would be proper. So this is how we can create a dash, how can we create a page or a, uh, or a visualization page using Power BI connecting to Salesforce. And finally, we can export this. So in, I just export this or I can export this to PDF so that I can share this with the rest of the world. So we can, I can share, showcase this to my decision makers or decision makers in an organization. That's the report. So we can visualize this. Report. Yeah. 
And once we have a license, publish this report on to the Power BI, and for this, we, re we require a license. So we have other. So that's the way how we can visualize the data. How can so this is the way we can integrate the Power BI with Salesforce. We connect the Salesforce Salesforce to Power BI trans transform the data and visualize the reports, visualize the data with the help of Power BI. The so that's all in this video. If you have some queries, you can write to us on the you can write to us on support at the rate aitech1.com. You can visit our website www.aitech1.com. If you have a required of customized training on Power BI or on Salesforce, you can contact with us on the numbers given mentioned in this slide. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.